Scoring in the NBA is truly an art. When you have such physical players in the paint stopping you from scoring, only some players can truly find a way to score. And in the end, it is this esteemed group of players that will go on to make history when it comes to putting the ball through the ring. Hello and welcome back to NBA Swish. We'll be talking all about scoring in the NBA. Yes, you guessed it. We'll be talking about the top 10 scores in the NBA of all time. I know what you must be wondering, who are the best scorers in the NBA? Well, stick around to the end as we count down the top 10 scorers in the long history of the NBA. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. First off, coming in at number 10, we have Kevin Durant. Now, we all know what a scoring machine KD is. I mean, he's literally unguardable. With an impressive career spanning 1,015 games and 37, 256 minutes and counting, Durant has amassed a total of 27,751 points. Now, that is just insane. And you might be thinking, with such a long career, why hasn't he scored more? Well, he's been sidelined with injury a lot. And if it weren't for that, his scoring efficiency is evident and his 50% field goal percentage and remarkable 38.7% from beyond the arc. But it doesn't stop there. Even if you manage to stop him from scoring, you're most likely going to foul him, which is even worse since his versatility extends to the free throw line, boasting an 88.5% success rate. And he isn't just all scoring. With 4,441 assists, 7,144 rebounds, and a very well-rounded game, you can see why many consider him one of the best players in recent times. Next up, coming in at at ninth place, we have the seasoned scorer Carmelo Anthony. I wouldn't say a lot of people rated him very highly at the end, given his deteriorating energy to keep up with the game. But when you look at a career spanning 1,260 games and 43,513 minutes, you can't help but be amazed by his gameplay. This can be seen by the fact that he's accumulated over the course of his career an impressive 28,289 points. And it's no wonder, because his scoring prowess is demonstrated by his 44.7% field goal percentage and a respectable 35 5.5% from the three-point range. And that's not all, as he also had 3,422 rebounds, 1,223 steals, and 644 blocks over the course of his illustrious career. That just goes to show what a hustler he truly was. Next up in the eighth position, we pay tribute to the dominant force that is Shaquille O'Neal. Now, many people might have ranked him higher, given Shaq's imposing presence on the court. He was literally unstoppable, which was reflected in his 1,207 games and 41,917 minutes of play, accumulating a total of 28,596 points. Now that is just crazy. He was a force in the paint and was pretty accurate too, as he had a 58.2% field goal percentage and a steady 52.7% from the free throw line. I know those free throws are quite low, Hackashack was a low point for him, but who cares? It's Shaq. He's gonna score, just give him the ball. But surprisingly enough, he wasn't all about scoring, because he had an impressive 13,099 rebounds, 3,026 assists, 739 steals, and 2,732 blocks. Now that is just top-notch stuff. The Diesel's ability to dominate both ends of the court solidifies his legacy as one of the greatest scorers in NBA history. Coming in at the number seventh spot, we've got the legend legendary Wilt Chamberlain. Now, I don't even really need to tell you about this guy. Anyone who scored 100 points in a single game is one of the best of all time. But he's not just known for that. Just have a look at his stats and you're going to understand. In 1,045 games and 47,859 minutes of play, Chamberlain amassed a staggering 31,419 points. Now that is just crazy. And what's even better is that he did it with a remarkable 54% field goal percentage. He was easily the most dominant dominant player of his time. But to be very honest, besides scoring for fun, he was excellent on the boards. It's no wonder he had an astounding 23,924 total rebounds, averaging a mind-blowing 22.9 rebounds per game throughout his career. That is an absolutely insane rebounding per game number. It goes on to show what a dominant player he truly was in the paint. Coming into sixth place, we have the iconic fadeaway jump shot maestro, the one and only Dirk Nowitzki. I am sure most of you have seen him play. With a career spanning 1,000 522 games and 51,367 minutes, Dirk accumulated a total of 31,560 points, a truly remarkable number. And he did that with a notable 47.1% field goal percentage and an impressive 38% from three, which truth be told is quite an impressive stat as he was mostly a forward or a center. He always had that accuracy and an eye to score, which can be seen through his 87.9% free throw success rate. 
The rest of his stats are equally as impressive, with 11,489 total rebounds, 3,651 assists, 1,210 steals, and 1,281 blocks. You can easily place him as one of the greatest players the league has ever seen. Oh, were we talking about the greatest players of all time? How about the greatest player of all time? Sorry, LeBron fans, you might disagree, but MJ is clearly the GOAT. Sure, ranking fifth might seem like a downgrade, but given his legacy, he should be first. But as we are just talking strictly about scoring, fifth seems fair. Throughout his eventful NBA career, Jordan played 1,072 games, amounting to 41,010 minutes of play, and amassed a total of 32,292 points. Sure, some of you might say that his 49.7% field goal percentage and 32.7% from three is not exactly GOAT status, but trust me, what this man could do in clutch moments no one else could do. It's no wonder he has six rings, including two three-peats. I will again say stats don't do justice to his legacy, but Jordan also registered 6,672 rebounds, 5,633 assists, 2,514 steals, and 893 blocks. If you really want to understand what a great scorer he really was, just watch any documentary about him and you'll understand. The Last Dance is a pretty good place to start. At the fourth spot, we pay homage to the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. His legacy needs no introduction. But first, let us go through his stats. With a career spanning 1,346 games and 48,643 minutes, Kobe accumulated a total of 33,643 points with a notable 44.7% field goal percentage and a remarkable 32.9% from beyond the arc. Now that is impressive. His hustle mentality really helped him, especially in defense, as he contributed 7,047 rebounds, 6,306 assists, 1,944 steals, and 640 blocks. Those stats are insane for someone who is not a big man. Overall, the Black Mamba's scoring mentality and ability to perform in clutch moments mark him as one of the all-time greats. May you rest in peace, legend. And now we are in the top three. Here, we're only going to see the best scores in NBA history. Starting with the third spot, we have the mailman, Carl Malone. He was a scoring machine. Just have a look at the numbers. In 1,476 games and 54,852 minutes played, Malone accumulated a total of 36,928 points with a 51.6% field goal percentage and a commendable 27.4% from the three-point range. Just incredible. I would also like to mention here that I don't think many people give him credit for what a monster of a player Carl really was. He just couldn't stop scoring. But that wasn't the only thing he was good at. With 14,968 rebounds, 5,248 assists, 2,085 steals, and 1,145 blocks, you can see he had the defensive brilliance too. He's easily one of the greatest forwards in NBA history. Did you know that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar just recently got demoted to second place on the all-time scorers list? I mean, he was topping the charts for years, until recently when he was toppled by someone who many claim is the greatest of all time. Kareem was a beast in the paint and was literally unguardable thanks to his skyhook. He was quite durable too as he had a long career spanning 1,560 games and 57,446 minutes. In that time frame, Kareem accumulated an astounding 38,387 points. And what's even more impressive is that he did it with a 55.9% field goal percentage and a remarkable 72.1% from the free throw line. Amazing, right? However, given the fact that he was a center, he also had 17,440 rebounds, 5,660 assists, 3,189 blocks, and 1,160 steals. It's no wonder many people mention him as one of the greatest players of all time. And of course, securing the top spot as the NBA's all-time leading scorer is the king himself, LeBron James. Did you know that the king is into his 21st season in the NBA? Now that is just completely nuts. And his stats show that huge experience. As in 1,455 games and 55,267 minutes played, LeBron has amassed a record-breaking 39,509 points. And I am absolutely sure he will be the first person to hit 40,000 points in the NBA. But scoring a lot is easy when you've played a lot of games. It's your efficiency that counts. And well, LeBron's scoring efficiency can be seen with a 50.5 field goal percentage, a respectable 34.6% from the three-point range, and 73.5% free throw percentage. Now those are pretty amazing numbers if you ask me, especially considering that they span two decades. And that's not even the best part, because LeBron's impact goes 
far beyond scoring. He's contributed 10,915 rebounds, 10,672 assists, 2,236 steals, and 1,095 blocks. In fact, he's the only player ever to amass 10,000 plus points, rebounds, and assists in NBA history. And I would need a completely different video if I started talking about all of his numerous records. However, I will tell you this, LeBron's versatility, basketball IQ, and consistent excellence make him the standard of greatness in the modern NBA. May he continue to break more records. And there you have it, the top 10 best scorers in the NBA of all time. Was there somebody else that should have been included on this list? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.